Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a video on the Xiaomi, Xiaomi 70My um, Pro dash cam. Um, if you remember back about a year ago I did a uh, video on the previous version of this dash cam, the basic 70My, which is, um, I'll add a link to shortly if you want to review that. Um, this version of the camera you can buy it on um, Amazon uh, for approximately £79, although um, I have found it cheaper elsewhere in like Banggood and uh, Wish and places like that, but I'd obviously beware of where you buy it from. Um, I personally go for the Amazon version. Um, it's roughly twice the price of the, uh, the original 70 my but there is a lot of um, upgrades with this camera, so I think it might... Uh, be worth the upgrade. Um, the resolution it shows on the screen is 2592 by 3944 and again like as previous this is a smart camera so it's got some additional features um, on it. I'll just get the box open and we'll take a look what's inside. So straight away inside the box um, the camera is the first thing you come across contained in a case. Uh, you can see the lens there itself and on the back there there's um, some pins and a QR code. Now the pins are for the additional GPS module which I've got here in a separate box and I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, you have to purchase this separately. The camera works fine on its own however some of the features of the camera don't work without this. However you can just buy this on its own and it works fine as a dash camera. Uh, the lens itself will rotate, um, so you can have it pointed in different directions. On the front here, uh, this is the part that's facing toward the driver in the car. Um, there's a screen, I won't pull the peel uh, screen cover back off. Um, you've got four function buttons underneath here, and a further button at all, which is this, this one underneath is the power button. On the side here you've got um, a voltage in which looks like a USB type B and you've got a slot here then for the micro SD card. Um, I think that might be the master reset on this side as well. So that's the main part of that. You've also got an LED light beer uh, which will be facing the driver which will indicate whether it's switched on or not. I'm assuming somewhere on it it'll have speaker unless that's it there at the front but that in itself is the camera um, okay I'll just put that back in the box briefly Also in the box you get the instruction manual, and as, as with all as well you get these which are installation, installation guides for your dash cam for putting it in the car. The instruction manual is smaller than last time, however by the looks of it it has been translated uh, quite well into English so it is readable um, and like some other uh, companies firms I've uh, read the translations are usually terrible um, also in the box then um, we've got the as expected the USB cable uh, which can be connected to cigarette lighter and that's a USB type C or oh, sorry USB type B um, connection uh, to plug directly into the camera and I'm expecting to find a cigarette lighter adapter then nope you've got two on here so you've got one for the camera itself and an additional one then uh, so that you've still got USB charging that's, uh, that's quite useful so there we have it there's the box that's the contents. So this is what you get for your money. 
In addition to that, on the back here, you've got uh, five pins which will connect this then to the GPS module. Now that's in this box here. I'll just get that open now and show you the contents. This comes together with some 3M tape attached to the back and the five pins and by the looks of it that just slots directly onto the back of that like so and you can put this onto the windscreen. Um, interestingly the camera itself doesn't come with uh, 3M tape otherwise so that's something interesting if you do just buy this camera without the GPS module uh, presumably you've got to find your own method of connecting this to the screen which uh, personally I don't think is very uh, fair or nice and there's separate instructions there for the um, GPS module so that's um, so that's the extra GPS module and this um, on its own uh, comes to about any, anywhere between 25 and 40 pounds depending on what website you buy it from um, online I think it was 38 on Amazon, um, but I've seen it in other websites, including eBay, for about 25, 26 pounds. Okay, so the camera that comes with this is a Sony camera. Um, it's a Sony EMX335 sensor. Um, like I say, it's a 2592 by 3944 resolution, uh, so it's better than HD. Um, There's an app as well that comes with it, um, as previously, you can download this directly from uh, the Google Play Store. i got a feeling that one there is for the GPS module. Um, you download the app and then there's instructions to follow on there and you connect to the Wi-Fi with the camera. And um, it gives you options to take photos or download footage directly from the camera. Um, there's also surveillance mode which was quite useful when you turn the car off um, it goes into surveillance mode and you can switch that on and off um, but if the car if the camera detects any motion with the car um, it'll start filming again as with the previous one it's got voice commands uh, which allows you to talk to it and you can um, program it to do certain things to your voice like take a photo or start to stop filming and things like that all in all, I would say it's probably worth the $79.99. However, I would have expected a GPS module to come with it for that kind of money. So if you can find one uh, for that price with a GPS module thrown in, I would uh, I'd go for it. Otherwise, it's a pretty good camera. It's an interesting piece of technology. The only other thing that I would um, like to see with this uh, camera is uh, support for adding an additional rear view camera as well. Um, other than that, I think it's a pretty good piece of kit. I like the upgrade from the original. Um, it's a massive upgrade really when you think about it, from a single button um, camera to one with a screen and multi-functions as well. This is, uh, this is quite a big upgrade from the original, so this, you know, the jump in price is uh, understandable. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the end of my review. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like or comment, and um, just uh, I will be doing some more videos in the near future um, of the other cameras in this series, the 70 My Pro Plus. Okay, thank you for watching. Cheers.